I grew up with an alcoholic parent, um, and I found out at a very young age. And at that age, we really didn't learn about mental health and mental illness. And at that time, I didn't really know who to turn to, or even I didn't even have the vocabulary to explain what I was feeling. So in results from that, I turned to negative coping mechanisms. So I started self-harming. And for me, it was cutting at in grade six. And that continued for about 10 years, all the way into university. Um, from there, my problem grew a little bit bigger. I wasn't able to self-harm anymore, so I turned to an eating disorder as another way to help me control aspects of my life. Because having an alcoholic parent, I felt like I had lost a lot of control in my life. So I was desperately trying to control different aspects. With self-harming, I was controlling the pain I was conflicting on myself. Mm -hmm. And with bulimia, I was controlling my intake and outtake of food. So. Um, I got to such a dark place in my life, I started to look at myself in the mirror and I started to resemble that alcoholic parent. And I started losing interest in everything that made me happy. I was pushing away my friends, I was losing relationships, I was my grades were dropping in school. And at that point I just knew that I didn't want to continue living that way anymore. And I wanted to get help and I wanted to help other people by sharing my story. I started being very open about what I was doing to myself, to my family and my friends. I reached out to counselors, I talked to my family doctor about it, um, I went to groups, I did um, Children of Alcoholics, the AA group that they have. Mm -hmm. um, I just, I just really, I started sharing and I started asking for help and that was kind of what I was not doing for those, all those years where I was struggling the most. And so do you, do you understand what that did for you? Yes, 100%. Um, so. I just, I felt a weight lifted off me. I was able to connect with so many people and I started to realize that I wasn't alone in this battle. I had an army of people who have gone through similar things as me, who were willing to be there beside me, um, that weren't gonna turn away from me because I wasn't that perfect person that I was trying to portray myself as.